live my childhood. I know. Hey, all right. Actually want all to, right. You want to link to one of them? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the stream. I am Razim, and this is uh, Dungeon Keeper, an old game from the 90s. Uh, we were discussing the Dungeon Keeper MMO that was released for uh, in China, and. Uh, <laughs> While I definitely understand that we could, that there could be fan servers out there, uh, for one, you know, the China is kind of notorious for being rather stringent and restrictive on basically all of their policies. Um, so I kind of actually doubt that there is a, there are fan servers, but even if there are, finding them, it would be a very difficult task for somebody not in China, you know? Your dungeon has been fortified, an enemy has been converted hey. to your cause. You what? What you egg? You're throwing an egg at me? Yeah, Martin gets egg. Yeah, but I'm Razor. You can have egg too, I don't care. But my main point that I was bringing up there was just the fact that I am really curious what it entails and how they turn this Your game into are fighting an amongst MMO. themselves. That is... Maybe it's this, but like... Was it Dungeon Keeper Online you're talking about by yeah. NetDragon? Yeah. It was cancelled. From what I understand, it did actually get a full release. Uh, there's the Dungeon Keeper Online video on YouTube. Huh, I'll have to go take a look. I know I've looked for it, it like gameplay and stuff on it, but from what I... I saw that it got released. Yeah, it's been closed. The servers have been closed down since, but it did actually get a full release and was going for several years. <laughs> At least, again, according to what I know, which is admittedly limited on that front. Anyways, I'm very sleepy and I need to sleep easily. So, y'all have a good one. Thank you for letting me be part of the stream. You'll have a good one. Thank you Bye. for joining. Sleep well. Bye. Bye. Okay, did I actually get my knight transferred? Looks like yes. Cool. So we are good to move on to the next <laughs> level. And there's going to be some story stuff. Hassenlock. Vampires have sucked the life out of everyone here. They've poisoned the well and smeared dung on all the door handles as a joke. No sophisticated sense of humor, these undead bloodsuckers. Hello there, Rob. Tulip scent. Flowers are on display in every building in this area. 
The poisonous stink of all these fetid blooms will stick in the throats and noses of all the right-thinking villains who come within four leagues of the place. And hello to you as well, Balasar. How are you? What's up, Rob? It appears you have a rival. Some Another of your minions are unable that... to reach their lairs. Another keeper believes he is more ruthless and evil than you. We shall soon see. And I apparently start off with a warlock on this level? An entrance has been claimed. You will not find any easy path through this region. You will have to fight hard to gain any advantage. But if you intend to rule the world, you've simply got to get through days like this. Okay, what is going on on this map and why do they keep yelling about not being able to reach their lair? What the fuck is this? Why do we have a Horned Reaper? Why do we have two Horned Reapers? Some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. Um, I have grave concerns here, but uh, I, I suppose we'll figure it out. There's a strange delay on audio. I'm going to have to check that. In a moment, though. Egg! Hi, Wostein. I don't think it's the narrator from Stanley Parable. In fact, I'm fairly certain it is not. Your creatures are becoming angry. Yes, I know they're angry. Horned Reapers are always angry. They exist to be angry. Alright, give me a moment while I fix things. Wait, was a card redeemed? Did somebody redeem a card? I don't think so. All the voice mod cards should be set up to be, uh, you know.
Seriously, why is my PC suffering so bad tonight? And Richard Ridings was the voice of the narrator, or the Horned Reaper. The mentor. Mm-hmm. Why are there two instances of Stream Raiders? Why is it consuming more freaking CPU than my than OBS is? Something weird is going on with my PC today. Definitely going to be giving it a restart later. Alright, well, let's hope that it works now. Okay, very brief moment of audio distortion, but otherwise we're good to go. So, we've got two Horned Reapers. They get pissed off at literally everything. So I'm really not looking forward to dealing with them. Um... Let's take a look at... So there is a portal over here. We've got some gold here. There's these spaces that are clearly meant for us to dig out into here. And a gem spot over there. We've got some kind of hidden thing up here. Uh, let's see. What's a trick, Pam? By the way, voice chat is open for people that would like to join. to think of what I can pull off with this. I definitely feel like attacking blue right off the bat would probably be a terrible idea. There's no way that they put us this close to them without a, uh, y y you know, major you know they, they didn't start us off with a horn with two horned reapers if there wasn't some danger to going and attacking blue right off the bat as much as I would like to Thank you. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. I was kind of trying to devise my strategy here. Wait, what is this? Ooh! Your strategy is slapping imps. Creatures to obey your every command. So I guess I just have that active and it's constantly draining mana? Your creatures are becoming angry. Ah, huh, interesting. Okay. Ah, th this is uh, exposed to the outside, I see. strange creature pool that we have here. This ancient realm is rich in magical artifacts. Go forth and plunder. Oh, okay. We start with the bridge. A new spell has been researched. And we have Sight of Evil right away. Oh yeah, Pants. Anything being able to eat more CPU than uh, OBS is imp Well, then again, with the latest update to OBS, I have been noticing that it's been working much better than it has in pre uh, previously. A new spell has been researched. set some guard posts down here. A new room has been researched. And we started with eight imps this time. Cool. <laughs> There's my trolls. Looks like no bile demons this time. That sucks. But it's okay, I just set the horn I just set the horn reapers on uh the enemy and you know they're they're good to go. Uh training rooms. We've already got some from the for those two, but I don't really wanna keep that set up forever. <laughs> you 
do? Get in there and train. I am sure that guy is going to be attacking us very soon. Speed. At least until you get it for yourself. Can we get some more rooms? Please? Oh, heroes are coming! Please finish that. I am not prepared for heroes yet. Soon, but not right now. Okay, that's already fully fortified. Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Creature, I shall crush you in an instant. Your efforts are futile. Your entrails will decorate the darkest alcove of my domain. Wait, why are you annoyed? Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. I'm gonna go hop on VR chat later. Okay, see ya. Have fun. Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Been okay here, Woe's time. There's a treasure room right here. Barracks. We could get some orcs. Your gold reserves are running low. You cannot afford to train creatures. Your creatures are becoming angry. You do not have enough gold. A trap has been manufactured. I am... Your creatures so are becoming angry. Oh, they've already my uh, broken down their own doors? Interesting. Wostein underscore oil says, Good evening. How are you, Tokeme and Sa? Uh, Your creatures are anyone? becoming angry. Oh, well. Hey, well. Sark already left, but, uh. Most time wants to know how you are, uh, Toshime. I still have a lingering cough, Stop. but besides that, doing okay. A trap has been manufactured. Ah. A new spell has been researched. You 
guys can go do whatever you want. A trap has been manufactured. What level are you? You're only level four? Really? I need you level five. Minimum. a unique map. A trap has been manufactured. Your workshop's not big enough. like a temple though <laughs> a temple would be very useful a trap has been manufactured a new room has been researched oh hey well prison helps Dungeon Heart is right the hell here? This can't be that easy, can it? Be manufactured. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are falling in battle. Oh, they've got some really strong. Well, we're gonna reload. Game <laughs> An enemy has been converted to your cause. Hi there, Kindle. That definitely did not go according to plan. I feel like we want to go faster this next time. Let's go ahead and just try. Some of your minions are unable you, to you reach know, their just lairs. charging straight in. Might go horribly, but maybe it'll An work. An entrance out. has been claimed. You need a bigger treasure room.
Mizuki, hello there. Welcome on in. of those. God damn. You need a bigger treasure room. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning a battle. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are winning the enemy. Your creatures are falling in battle. Your minions are winning a battle. Yeah. That was definitely not the route to take. Okay. Game loaded. <laughs> okay, so now that we know that. Tulips. Let's go ahead and save game right off the bat. Game saved. So it's time for uh some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. Stream raiders, let me go get that done. Okay. Also, I should probably turn on the audio for Stream Raiders again. And check on Stream Pirates. That is done. Let's start a new one. Place your troops, as well as your pirates. Okay, so, we have had multiple, uh, Failed start so far, but it's okay. An entrance has been claimed. Let's start off with this. Slave. Get both of you in here. You need a bigger treasure room. Some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. Get all 
this put in. More treasure room. Yay, Bile Demon! I just cannot seem to stop having technical difficulties tonight. There we go. I know you guys can't really hear it, which I am grateful for, but I definitely do. You need a bigger treasure room. I know they're annoyed. They're gonna get annoyed no matter what I do. But as long as we've got that must obey spell active, they can't do Jack Diddley Squat. So, meh. You need a bigger treasure home. new spell later. Right now, at least, I have a little bit higher priority of trying to just survive the first few minutes and stuff. A new spell has been researched. Start training. Let's get some more imps. Get four of them training so they can go faster. Workshop is nice and all, but I'm not too particularly concerned about getting it. Heroes start tunneling from down here, so I'm gonna hold off on mining too far out to this direction. A new spell has been researched. Right now.
The Wolf's Song Tavern. Hello there. Thank you very much for coming by. I guess having a workshop could be useful. Your gold reserves are running low. their lairs. Definitely do not want that claimed. enemy uh, <laughs> coming in. Holy crap. Get these mined out ASAP. And then fortified ASAP. Two bile demons this time. Cool.
You two, get in there. Everything fortified. I don't know when they're gonna start digging towards us, but we do not want them getting the drop on us again. A new room has been researched. Like we'll be safe out there. We want to try and grab this gold as fast as possible. Fortify, please. Ah, they're coming. actually better for me to not connect those. Got it. back there oh wait they go that way they could oh boy actually having a workshop to make us extra money would Good, they're all going for their money over there. Your corpse will feed my exactly like they should be. And now they're starting to threaten me. Stop 
Stop mining that. Go mine all that and get it fortified, please. gonna go all the way around and because that area is open already so they are gonna have a very fast route into my base if they go Fortified. Where do you think you're going? Fortify. Breaking walls is the most profitable thing you can do in pirates? Really? Rather interesting. Oh, stop laughing and all that other nonsense you're pulling. A new room has been researched. Fortress, my, my dungeon is fortified. So skeletons are coming through the portal. I have never seen this before. But fair enough, I suppose. Concern right now is the vile demon and skeleton fighting. Because that would definitely be very unwelcome, to put it lightly. Oh, interesting, Baldo. Okay, 
we need to invest in some of our imps getting trained. The whole train, but we get them to level three, they get speed, and it'll be much better for us. This is as expanded as my for my dungeon is going to get. I'm not happy about this fact. But a new spell has been researched. It is what it is. tired even though you slept about eight hours already? Well, I'm sorry to hear you're tired. But I welcome you by. Has been manufactured. Ah, excellent. They reach level five. Now the Horned Reapers have their... Oh. Why are there two groups of heroes wandering around now? Stop! Thank you for the head pats. And doop doop doop. Especially because these particular, uh... Kick you out of there and throw you off to mine and stuff. And throw another batch of imps in there. At least I think they get it at level three. So your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Are becoming angry. Why are you angry? <laughs> okay, I 
I guess I'm gonna have bribe ya. That didn't make you happy? A new spell oh, yeah, looks has like been you researched. Are happy now. Yeah, they'd be very angry, uh, Rob. Ah, excellent. Things are leveled up. There you are. On top of things, please. A door has been manufactured. More gold. A dorm has been manufactured. <laughs> Not sure he'd much appreciate that reference. <laughs> okay. I think they might be able to keep ahead of the training costs. Ooh, especially because we now have a lava trap to sell. working on this. A new room has been researched. Seriously. <laughs> Alright, Stream Raiders. Let's start this battle. close to the next skin guys go purchase skins remember you can even gift them to others you know support the channel help us unlock another skin maybe one more people would be interested in <laughs>
All right. There you all go. So how is everybody doing out there? I know it's kind of late and we got a lot of lurkers, but surely there's some of you out there I can chat with. I love talking to you guys. Thank you for the head pats. Scratched! Hello! And hello there, Alex and Slitherite. Ah, you're playing Plague Inc. Intriguing. A trap has been manufactured. A temple? Already? Oh, we already got the torture chamber, I see. Oof. I don't know if we can really afford to make this. We'll at least Your make gold a reserves are running low. Seven now. Just figuring out some swap ups for your stream. What kind of swap ups? I will say, Alex Gray Winter, that uh, Deep Rock Galactic is a lot of fun. I, I do recommend it. Uh, I personally could only play it in small bursts. Well, that's just my own personal, uh, my own personal thing, basically. Interesting, Pan. Well, I do hope whatever you decide uh, works out well for you. Pathetic creature. I shall crush you in an instant. By all means, try. A new spell has been researched. So you trying to take me out. You might actually succeed. Who knows? I do have a level 10 knight. And a decent level uh, wild demon. Or two. It is payday. Your uh -oh. gold reserves are running low. Some of your minions uh -oh. are unable to reach the treasure room. 
Your creatures are becoming angry. You cannot afford to train creatures. Your minions are annoyed. You cannot pay them. Oh, what is there? What do they require for payday? Your gold reserves are running low. Oh God, a lot. Your okay. minions are annoyed. You cannot pay them. <laughs> you cannot afford to train creatures. <laughs> oh God. The Reapers are getting angry. Your minions Angie? are annoyed. You cannot pay them. Trap has been manufactured. Angie horned reapers are a very bad thing. Your gold reserves are running low. Your minions are annoyed. You cannot pay them. You cannot afford to train creatures. <laughs> Your minions are annoyed. You cannot pay them. There's new things to hit them with. A new room has been researched. Okay, Slavy. we're gonna force the obey. new stuff. Hey there, Ash. A trap has been manufactured. a door please so I can seal these guys away somewhere where they're not trying to mine everything actually we got right here perfect you can have free access to the outside Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room Okay, 
Okay. We got that straightened out. Also, we'll put that there. Try to... When the enemy does finally attack, because that's what we're basically going to be waiting for, is the enemy attacking attack us. Attack has been manufactured. Dude. Um, once they do attack, we're going to be... Hopefully have them all nicely lined up in this hallway for this boulder trap to just annihilate them. Hopefully. <laughs> Good luck. Because I know they got some scary monsters in there, but rock beats everything in this game. A trap has been manufactured. Hey. Get to training. I didn't give you permission not to train. are running low. Your creatures are becoming angry. You cannot afford to train creatures. You do not have enough gold. <laughs> Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. Okay, you're just going to fight everybody. Okay. Your creatures are becoming angry. You are beyond it is uh, attempts to make you happy now. Some of your minions are unable to reach the treasure room. Your gold reserves are running low. Your creatures are becoming angry. This is interesting. Your creatures are becoming angry. Yes, I know you are. Slave. Your creatures are under attack. A trap has been manufactured. Your creatures are falling in battle. Oh god, they've got a lot of troops. Oh no. Uh, 
<sighs> Will they please just attack already? One of your creatures has joined the enemy. A door has been manufactured. What? Who joined the end? What? There was no scavenging alert. Well, Alex, I would be more than happy to uh, send that off to you. Uh, are you actually signed up for, uh, stream loot, so? And... <laughs> oh god, we've got two Alexes right now. I was wondering when this would happen, when you both pop up. Grey Winter. Uh, which pack would you like? That one is for either the tabletop cards or voice mod. A trap has been manufactured. has been sent, Alex. Mm. My minions will leave your dungeon a crumbling ruin. <laughs> a trap has been manufactured. down there we go Just to attack? That's why I couldn't get Hello. this to knock out as many of you as I can. Hi there. Hey, spirit. You seem irritated. I should leave then. I am sorry. Why? No, it's more wizards and. has been manufactured. I saw your message and I've kind of finished uh, playing my game and my my chat uh, will start to end off with it. So I figured I'd pop in and say hi. Well, hello. Hello. Ooh, my graphics card appears to be having issues. Uh oh, that's not good. Welcome back, Spirit. 
you did jump in here, Rygon. Yeah, that's what I said I was gonna do. I didn't know you were ending off. Well, I'm not. I'm saying hi while I look for stuff to do. And if I can't find anything, then we'll go to bed. And I think I'll be jumping off voice. Alrighty, catch right, you later, Toshime. Well, Toshime. Night, Toshime. Bye. And Zora is in the waiting room. Night. You did not come in at a bad time, Spirit. You just... I'm annoyed over the game. Doesn't mean I'm annoyed with you. Uh. What? All I know is I came in and you went, Oh, hi. Will you just... Uh. Ooh, yeah, like I'm talking game. about I'm the game. Uh. Well... I mean, are you gonna... still looking at tabletop games, Rygon? Yes, I am. I'm looking at a bunch of interesting tabletop games. I'm looking for a bunch of so at a bunch of solo games. I thought you were looking for multiplayer games. Well, yeah, but then you went to bed. I never said I was going to bed. I said I was jumping the ship. Hey, the well, what am I supposed to reference from that? I'm I'm leaving the call equals I'm going to bed to me. I mean, you asked what I plan to do. I said bed was not really a thing. Oh, fair enough. These two are really worrying me. What is it? I have a few horned reapers that I started this map off with. Horned Reapers are incredibly difficult to keep happy. Oh, I see. They very much are happy to... They, they would very much rather just rip you to shreds than, you know, play nice. For a second, my videos weren't playing correctly. Nice, Pan. Nice. And very nice, Alex Grey Winter. Yes. And we're all moving over to the chat room. Because since we're mostly doing just chatting while I look at stuff. Oh, so you are still streaming? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I thought I'm you were just kind of hanging out. No. Figured I'd come in here and say hi. Well, hello. Hmm. Tonight, uh, I am having a lot of technical difficulties. So am I. And I'm having problems with, I'm just having all sorts of problems tonight. Pathetic creature, I shall crash you in an instant. You should play a board game with me. What board game? I have no idea. I'm looking I'm looking to see what we got here. Hey, you're gonna do my Christmas tree tomorrow, Panth? Heck yeah, I look forward to it. I got paid today, so I can actually pay you. Why is this just bored in one place and game? Well, I'm kind of winding down for the night. I finished I finished playing my video game, so I'm just kind of like, I want to do something else now. I 
I gave some suggestions for games. What's that? And the blue keeper is spreading like wildfire all over the frickin' place. Uh, okay. oh, oh. I mean, um... Maybe I should watch that one channel that, like, they review board games and see what they have to say on some of this stuff. Xenoflu is fun, but it takes a while. What is it? It's Uno, but you, but you flip your opponent's cards up. You flip yours and your opponent's cards upside down. I think I know the one you're talking about. See you too, T. Duran. Sorry we're kind of winding down and just hanging out and chat for a bit. I know this isn't exactly like the gameplay we had before. This is just... We're just settling. Settling before we all go to sleep. Except Zim, who stays up at ungodly hours of the day. Oh, I'm getting frustrated to the point where I might be ending here soon myself. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm, uh... Th this, uh, this particular level is proving very frustrating. And then the technical difficulties are not helping. having these horned reapers does not help either. I'm mostly just waiting for the uh, enemy AI to be like, and we're going to attack now. Because I've got traps and stuff happens. set up. Huh? So what, what's gonna happen when that happens? I got traps and stuff set up for that. <laughs> like in particular, I've got a boulder trap which will severely thin out their forces when they attack. There's mm -hmm. one avenue for them to attack me through, and the boulder trap is set up perfectly for that. I just need them to start attacking so they line up in that hallway and get squished. Please. And then I just go in and clean up what's left. Gotcha, gotcha. Either that, or, you know, I, uh, unleash my Horned Reapers on them. One of the two. Why not? You might get rid of two problems with one blow. I just don't... I, I know the Horned Reaper is one of the... is, like, the strongest unit in the game. I'm not sure if they are actually strong enough to take on their entire force, though. Oh, wasn't that just it, though? You didn't really want them to stick around because they're just so finicky. Well, they will be very useful on my side when the fighting starts. Because I'm pretty... Yeah, the enemies got almost... or more than double the amount of un uh, minions that I do. So yeah, having them uh, on hand, having these guys on hand is something I need. Oblivion. 
Hmm, I like this game. I'm gonna subscribe to that one. Hall of Sentient Mirrors. That sounds crazy. Yeah. And the AI, like... the AI keeps taunting me. Like, prepare for oblivion, and I'm just sitting here like, do it! Come on! Bring it, okay. bitch! Oblivion. I want well, you well, to attack me! <laughs> they really want you to prepare, though. Like, really prepare. I am prepared! Oh, crap. Oh, I got enough gold for that. I need to make sure that these Horned Reapers are level 10 for when that starts. Yee. Genesis, the Molecular Arms Race game. Interesting. Molecular Arms Race? Yeah, I guess you literally like, are legitimately just playing as DNA strands or something. Interesting. Yeah, this might be a fun game to try out tomorrow. Frostgrave. Could be played for one to a bunch of players. Thank you for the follow, Chalk. Hope you are doing well. <sighs> All right. This is going to be our last battle of the evening, everyone. Go place your troops, though. And stream pirates. I'll start a new one of that. I 
normally would not end this early, but at the same time... <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just like... Not much going on. Sure thing, Spirit. Thank you for joining on by. I'm just... Finding oh, I, myself like, frustrated it's only... with this game right now, and... As mm -hmm. I always say, if you're not having fun, then time to find something else to do. That is fair. Well, if you can think of something... <laughs> well, I mean, if there's something you want to do, we can. Because I'm kind of looking for something to do, too. I have no idea what to suggest on that front. Me too. Like 50 billion mods for Arkham Horror. Is it really that good of a game? Isn't that the Batman one? No, it's um Cthulhu. It's board games. Oh. Well, I couldn't really say that. <laughs> This AI is just content to sit here forever, not doing anything. I'll go poke it. I can't. Go poke it. Send, send a gobble. Send a gobble and see what he does. <laughs> He'll kill the imp and then just, uh... Oh, he's got a bunch of traps in here. <laughs> Well, that didn't go very far. <laughs> so that's what he that's what he would do. <laughs> Fair enough. Put in a bunch of traps and uh, stop me from even attempting that without risking uh, my minions lives. Horribly. Pokemon Master Trainer Hex Edition. Huh. Aside, uh, I believe that I got the only two vile demons available on this map. Mm hmm. So, I am better off in that regard. Vile demons are very strong. This one payday, and the Reaper just refuses to cooperate. Well, to be fair, I, d I would do that at, like, real work. <laughs> yeah, but I paid them double what they... Oh, that one's level 10, okay. Now to sell this and replace it with a temple that might make him happy. Temples are supposed to make them happy. Mm hmm. Once 
Since this one levels up to 10, I'll do the same over there. Holy shit, this is a low complexity game, are you shitting me? Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. It like I I look at the very first image and it's literally like fifty billion things are on the table. <laughs> like and it, it's rated low complexity, like yeah, you know, F off, that ain't true. Someone that's a fan of Lord of the Rings is probably low Did I ever decide on anything? No, but I did download a few. I might just play a few things tomorrow on stream. Speaking of which, Zim, you yes. all finally decided on stuff to do? Oh, you mean for the game? The poker roll? Yeah. Yeah. You all going with the kidnapping? Uh, it seems to be the consensus, at least, you know, of those that we've heard from, which is basically just four of us. It is payday. Mm -hmm. that four of us have said this, so I, I mean, seems like we're going with this. All right, then that's what I'll said. I've got a scenario in mind for how it's all going to go. But it will take me a little bit of time to get it set up, so this next session will probably just be mostly you all meandering in the village. That's fine. Yeah. I got enough quirky characters, and if you guys really want something to do, I can probably toss something in there. Oh god. You know, you know some might, some might just do a game-breaking influence. I mean, they can, I just can't guarantee anything's gonna, like, happen. Like, I'm gonna put in a game-breaking influence, the town blows up, and I'm like, yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that is the way to overkill. A trap has been manufactured. Is there a, a random merchant showing up in town, offering their wares? We have well, no money. Early for that particular character. A trap has been manufactured. A door has yeah. been manufactured. Yep. So, I could always have the players like doing something like minor A trap has tasks been manufactured. around town. Maybe they get into some bouts of hilarity, or maybe they actually help help out. A trap has been see. manufactured. But well, first things first will be just to finish off that, that quest everybody was just in, and I expect that's going to take at least half the session. A trap has been manufactured. Yeah. Yeah, then at that point, it's just a matter Game of saved. introducing a new mechanic concept. I'm hesitant to introduce, but I want to see what everyone's reception is for it before I start manipulating it. Okay, well, I need to step away for a few minutes, so I will be back, but I do want to hear about this. Okay. Keep them entertained, Rygon. Ah, oops. I forgot to unpause oh. the recording. But those, <clears throat> uh, those watching on YouTube, you really didn't miss anything. What were you saying, Rygon? I was saying uh, I can mention the mechanic now. Yeah, go for it. So I've been trying to think of something that you all could do in terms of helping to clear out the village and allowing for new buildings to be erected to attract new Pokemon to the uh, to the hub, essentially. 
So that way over time, and depending on the missions you all choose and the characters you interact with, these uh, buildings can slowly get filled up with unique characters who can help to buff the party in small ways. Okay. Mm hmm So, like, for example, finding, like, say, I don't know, like an archaeologist-like character who, who will then start selling unique little junk items in their shop that they scavenge from the city. Um, so they they might be a good one to like say like I don't know what this I don't know what this little doodad is. Can you help me? And they'll be like, hmm, I think this is a a a foon a, a foon. It's like what's a foon? It's something that you use to eat soup and the bits in the soup. Uh, the, but anyway, yeah, that was a joke about sporks. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a system to get you all to be able to have incentive to clear out the buildings and erect new ones. It sounded more like just pitching a silly name for a speed. Yeah, it was, uh, I was making oh, fun I of sports. Oh, I figured it was a sport joke. It's like, because they, they're not going to know it's called a sport, so they're going to give it a new name. A door has been manufactured. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm trying to figure that out, and I'm thinking something a along the lines of like, if you all choose to spend your time uh, doing the buildings, you might not get any better in terms of like, say, any skills or get automatic successes on skills or anything like that. But you could get something like, say, experience, and you could build relations with the town people, which can have their own benefits. There could also be minor missions like, hey, I need you to find, I don't know, like electrical wiring. Would you be willing to go into the city and find some electrical wiring? We could do like a like a Your sort of mini dungeon. You enough. find the wiring, you bring it back. There you go. So I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to kind of incentivize you all to start building the, the community up. Okay. The, the, the one question I kind of have is what builds that I probably would know what electrical wiring was? No, it was just an example. <laughs> it was an honest question. I mean, somebody might be able to eventually figure out what it's about. And it is, Starlight is a city with lights all over the place. I'm sure they know electrical wiring. They might not call it that, but they have it. Yeah, if you have any I suggestions, mechanic, Sam, feel free. I, I think that mechanic would be very interesting and potentially very fun. Yeah. It gives you all something to do and steadily the, the town could grow larger because the way it's being represented right now is that essentially the it town itself maybe started off in like a sort of a park area, right? Or at the very least some kind of area within the city that had some kind of clearing. And buildings around it have either been repurposed or torn down and others built in their place, depending. Yeah. So it makes sense that slowly over time this that town would expand and expand, and the cluster of the city around them would slowly kind of start fading away as buildings get repur repurposed or, or destroyed. Your creatures are fighting amongst themselves. I am definitely in favor of this idea. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. I just gotta oh, figure out a, a solid... Thing. Yeah. I just gotta figure out a solid system that I can pitch to you all as players, and that's what I've been debating on today. I do have in mind what your next mission is going to be, but it's going to be a bit of a complicated one that's going to have multi, uh, a couple of different tiers to it. So I think I'm going to actually have to start doing some map building. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, like, I don't think you all could do this next mission, or you could do this next mission, but it would be like at the 
very beginning surface level before we get to the uh, the section that requires maps. Okay. Hey there, Ezra. It's good to see you. A trap has been manufactured. Your workshop is not big enough. I just know I really want more poker roll. <laughs> and I really want to figure sure out. Things uh, are a trap has been manufactured. Good. I really want to figure out the uh, new system ASAP. A trap has been manufactured. Go for it, but don't be surprised if this new system takes a good while to a before we can even get a play with the prototype going. I know. Like just the testing alone would probably take at least a year. A trap has been manufactured. I know. I, I'm not. It's not one of those where it's like a trap has we're been gonna have it right now. I, I fully know that. Mm-hmm. One of your creatures is being scavenged. Um, but there is a... A trap has been manufactured. Uh, A trap has been manufactured. Right, none of you in there. A trap has been manufactured. Um... It's just, the, it, like, right now. A trap has been manufactured. Uh, Your workshop is not the, big the, enough. The, the campaign, or uh, the system as is, is okay. A trap has been manufactured. Mm -hmm. But, like, I brought up my... One of your creatures is being scavenged. Uh, ...with it before. I, I, I brought all that up before with you. Oh. My biggest problem is the simple fact oh. that it's the fact that I there, there's the power imbalance. It's not a suitable system for a table for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon side doesn't work right. Mm hmm Because you should not have players that... Are... It is payday. It should be more balanced. Like, yes, you'll I have agree. races and stuff that are better than other races at X, Y, and Z. That is expected. But having, like, just outright better, like they are right now, that's not something that you should have in a tabletop game. A trap has been manufactured. Your workshop is not big enough. Like, having their own purpose is okay. Mm-hmm. Well, this is, this is something I've noticed is kind of a feature with a with not just Pokemon, it's a feature for other games too, like, uh, say, superheroes. One big one with superheroes is like, obviously super strength is way better than being able to talk to freaking fish. So I think these imbalances might be... I'm not going to say they're, they're naturally built into these kind of like role-playing systems, but I do notice that the problem is more widespread than I think people really honestly think. I agree, uh, but it, it could still be far more balanced than it is right now. I agree. Well, and that's a that's a part with the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It just 
nobody took the time to do the rebounds. And sure, we got the basic rules, and I get the redoing the decks uh, would have been a pain in the ass, but still, like, I think that should have been done. I, I agree. There should be a separate decks for the mystery dungeon versus everything else. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, there just really should have been a separate uh, dex for Mystery Dungeon versus uh, the trainer side. Mm -hmm. Or even instead of having a dex, just be like, okay, you pick your Pokemon, you'll have those moves available to you, and there you go. You, you've got these stats to build with. That would have been the easiest and most ideal way to do it. Mm hmm Though, granted, starting at level one with this system is still... Oof. It's not much that we can really balance. But then we also, we just keep running into a lot of problems with it, though, that keeps demotivating me, where it's like, everybody's got their own opinions. Like, I understand people, you, you guys are allowed to have your opinions, but this game's not, it, one size is never going to fit all. It's just a fact. Sure. Well, you need to be doing, and I know I'm inserting my opinion here, is you just got to go for whatever feels fun. Like, the system itself does not necessarily have to be the most cohesive, so long as it's fun to play. That's kind of what I'm planning. That, that's my hope and goal with this. Is trying to make it as fun as possible. I know I've had, uh... Uh, yeah, I've had some not so helpful messages sent to me so far. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like somebody sent me a message just outright saying they don't like the uh, way we've got this set up. Like the current poker roll game or the, the one, one you're working, working on? on? Oh, I see. I'm like, that, that doesn't help. If you're going to do that, don't bother. Come, give me suggestions. Give me things I can work with. Don't just say I hate it. I can't do anything with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would agree. I can't make a system that you could potentially love and enjoy. Well, I think people just need to realize something like this is a work in progress. Like, board games and card games and whatnot, they are often months, if not years, of preparation and testing before they are released. Usually whatever the first the first product is, um, the final product looks nowhere near like it. And for me, it's like, I just... I personally don't feel like there's a whole lot that we can salvage from Poker Roll. It feels too set in place with this, uh, with the way they've designed it, for it to be revamped and made better by itself. But that's just my own opinion on that front. Like, it feels too set in stone, you know? Mm hmm. Personally, I wouldn't mind reaching out to the Poker World developers and see, you you know, to see what area. their thoughts are. I don't even know how to reach out to them. As far as I can tell, they've just abandoned the project. Which. Well, after what I've been dealing with, I would not be surprised. <laughs> like, 
like the six attributes with attack and defense on them. You know, one that's attack, one that's defense. No, it's not a perfect system at all. Mm -hmm. Not even remotely. But we can't seem to settle on anything else. Because mm -hmm. every time I turn around, somebody else has a new opinion on how it should be done. So I either just sit down and be like, okay, fuck all of you, this is how we're doing it, or something else that I can't really think of at the moment. <laughs> Here, as Al has said before, bump up the dice per Pokemon to reduce the impact of an extra Was stat. Team underscore oil says, why not a simple test then? See chat for loose details. No overhaul. I don't understand what you're suggesting here, Wostein. Um, like, there, there's no way to... I, I'm just not really following what you're suggesting there. Uh, we, we don't have a way to test with the current system. A door has been manufactured. Your workshop is not big enough. There are definitely 100% issues with this current system. Some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. You I fully expect you to continue home. doing house rules for a while, yeah. It is payday. These guys trained up. Oh, that'll be very useful. can be turned into additional knights which will be very strong and very useful information has been tortured from the enemy an enemy has been converted to your cause information has been tortured from the enemy an enemy has been converted to your cause an enemy has been converted to your cause <laughs> A door has been manufactured. Your workshop is not big enough. Okay, note to self. Thieves do not like being tortured. <laughs> Even for a few seconds, because they immediately convert. <laughs> Alright, you four, get in here.
Alright, we're gonna grab one of our imps to claim this territory. Start fortifying. You as well. extra dice or two or three or four until the extra dice feels less impactful, then test out permitting personally chosen boosts using the poker roll stats as limits. Um... I am still not following what you're suggesting, Wostein. Like, why are we adding... I, I'm not talking about just adding dice. That That's not necessarily the problem of poke, that I have with Poker Roll. The main problem I have with Poker Roll is the imbalance between different Pokemon. Like, the typing, the type matchups are one thing. I, that's okay. I, I can deal with that. That's expected. It's the imbalance between, uh, you know, one poke, it, it's the imbalance between start choosing to play as a rock rough versus a tyrant, for examples. They just start out outright stronger. Uh, the Tyrant does. Because when you're only re rolling three dice, maybe four or so, missing out on a die definitely is an impact. I mean, yeah, it would be an easy solution for just, you know, two die, you know, make everybody have two dots in each beginning stat. That is an easy solution here. But then we run into the problem of Oh, I think my laptop froze. Oh, no. God damn it. Well, we're just going to chat for a while then. Because... <laughs> I definitely don't want to fix it tonight. I have been having so many problems today. I am done. Um, <laughs> okay. But part of the problem with the idea of just giving everybody the same stats across the board is we either nerf those that are already here or we give everybody... Uh, you know, two dots and everything, like the, I guess the majority of the group has. Well, no, half the group now, because Seda's playing a rock rough as well. Uh, Wostein, it is pure, simple math. Half the group has uh, seven dots. 
The other half have 10 dots. That, it's just simple math. You, you, there's no arguing with it. There's no testing the field. There, there's nothing to do there. It is just simple math of those are, they are outright stronger. One of the other problems that I have is that it doesn't feel... It, 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 you, there's very limited personalization that you can put into the base system. Um, like, right now, we've got... Uh, say, like, we've got a little bit of uh, personalization we can put in there. Uh, and then, of course, we did do the... Uh, you know, I, I've got a Fulminian form rock rough as opposed to a normal one. But that's homebrew stuff. Uh, you can personalize things uh, out more, uh, at least a little bit later on. But I'm also stuck playing catch up, which is not a good feeling. <laughs> I don't really care for point buy systems because the rolling dice does feel nice, but I also know that being that one in the back uh, that got the bad rolls for ability scores, it never feels nice. Ever. Um, that said, most of what we're doing is just role play, and I'm enjoying the role play. But when it comes to the when when it comes to the base numbers, Tyrant is better than Rockruff. There's no way around that. There, there's no other way to put it. There's no other thought or feel or anything. Tyrant is better than Rockruff. And we can't do any, like, that. that's just how it is. But nope. what I would, like, part of why I'm wanting to revamp it, though, is so two players playing Rock Rough aren't exactly the same at co uh, character creation unless they just choose to be. Like, right now... My jet is going to be have the exact same stats. Uh, I mean, there's the fight survival contest that Seda could change it up, but uh, the base attributes were all the same. Rock rough, uh, both rock roughs are going to be the exact same on that front. Um, then the Growlithe, the Tyrant, and the Jangmo. They're all the exact same on those. And that's why I want to go with a point buy system so we can adjust it. It's like the problem of Chance? You, you're wanting me to test one problem to work out the problem of chance. I'm not talking about a problem of chance. This has nothing to do with chance. This isn't a matter of randomization. This is a matter of these are your set stats. Which is okay. I'm not entirely opposed to it. It's just the... I, I'm looking at a point by system instead so we can change things up a bit between one player and the next so they can specialize a bit more instead of you've got only this tiny little bit to 
vary things up a bit at the start. That's the only reason I'm looking into the point buy. And even then, I know that at character creation, uh, customization is going to be limited. Which is expected, but even just having the option of putting your dots where you want helps it to feel better over uh, not being able to do that. Well, I think Rygon is uh, passing out here. You're going to sleep. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap no, up. No, I mean, stream. I'm here. Oh, you, you just weren't uh, adding in. Well, yeah. Well, what what can I say? Well, I mean, you're the DM of this group, so maybe you have some insight or ideas on this. Hell no. <laughs> I just play by the book. I'm just like, Okay, guys, book says this. Yes, I know. We're still going to go with it, and we'll house rule it out later. I mean, personally, what I would like are two systems. Number one, point by system for the characters. So that way they can make their own individual little character that they want. Two, a non-point by system for the deck, so that way if I need to whip out an enemy, I can have something already established. Boom, right there, it's on the table, we're going. And I don't have to individually make every single freaking character ever in existence. Well, I mean, they do have that currently in Poker Roll. Um, but what I was thinking... Talking about with your system. Oh. Yeah, like I want, I want be... something more of a point buy for the players and non-point buy for the non-players. That's about the only thing that I care for to get. As far as that goes, I am. I've told you before. I'm considering poking my programmer friend to have him write a script to generate random Pokemon. That will... Which I think would be good. Yeah. So those will also be point by, but you get to specify how many points they've got, and, uh, you know, based on the party's level, and then just generate, and they might be good, they might be bad, but it'll be a random okay. encounter. <laughs> I say that's okay. Sometimes you need kin counters that are easy to cheese, and sometimes you need encounters that aren't. Yeah. Like, um, for example, the autumn dudes that you guys, or the, the dudes in the leaves that you faced, those straight up random. Just happened to choose a couple of, you know, more powerful, and I, I rolled with it. They could have easily just been a couple of weaklings, too, that I may have pumped up just a little bit for the fight. Yeah. But, anyways, I am done with the technical problems for today. I am tired after it, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me, though. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, let me go ahead and actually get over to the ending screen. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you all so much for joining me for Dungeon Keeper. I will be back tomorrow with more streaming. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, and more. There on the website, as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. 
Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It's one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. But for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest adieu.